Hello, my friends. Welcome back to a pun. Let's play the quarry for the PS5. Is it safe? Uh, depends. It's safe at the moment. Uh, yeah. We're okay for now. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. It was brilliant. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so. That was a gunshot. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Fuck. Did she shoot at us? Who is that? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! It's a person. <gasps> so there's people and those monsters running around now? If I was fire, it would be the rainfall. If I so maybe we're not so safe from these, uh, well, maybe there's some hunters that are, like, hunting the monsters, and then there's some hunters hunting the people. Don't they normally say that the most horrible monsters are humans? Sometimes, right? But anyway, I am the Flightless Bird. This is your Story Beats Gaming Channel. Hope you all having a wonderful day today. I knew we were close to the end of the chapter. I knew it. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Hey, I liked Emma. She was awesome. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. Of course. I Creepy. want to show you more. Would that be all right? Yes, absolutely. Show me more. I need to see more. Okay, that was definitely Jacob. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. So Jacob got caught in a bear trap. And then one of the, uh, uh we've we seen that guy before from the beginning. It was with the, the big stocky guy. Chapter five complete. All right. Well, let's, um, let, let's go through our stuff for completing a chapter. There's a lot of question marks here that I think we're missing. Our, our redemption playthrough, we're going to have to make sure we try to get all these. Uh, here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, by reflection too. Perhaps given some thought, the Hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. Uh, okay, let's see this scene one more time. Oh. 
so not a lot there. We get trapped by a bear trap, and then this guy, he looks sad at us. Almost as if his hunt isn't going his way. Uh, we were too easy of a prey. Hard to tell. Radio Hut. Calling all hacketeers. Is your wake-up call? The Radio Hut situated right beside the cabin. So wait a second to schedule. Whether it's activity time, roll call, or dinner. Our campers are always kept aware they're going on a camp. After all, an in informed camper is a happy camper. Pool house. Beside our state-of-art swimming pool stands our pool house, allowing campers the privacy required to dry off and get dressed after splash around in the pool. With lookers to safely store their belongings, everyone can jump right in. Okay. Uh, claw marks. Large, shagged claw marks on the wall of the radio hut. Clues. Triggered Bear Trap, Chapter 5, Camp Cabins. The bear trap definitely wasn't there over the summer. At least it can't hurt anyone now. If this was meant for the creature that attacked the radio hut, it may not have been very effective. That thing was fast. I wonder if that's the one that Jacob gets stuck in. Or there could be more traps elsewhere. Down the rat hole... Uh, Caitlin, Abby, and Nick were able to hide in the cabin without alerting the creature. Dylan was bitten by the creature when trying to hook up the feedback loop. Okay, so it was definitely bitten. The question is, does being bit have anything to do with things? Helping hand. Ryan decided not to sever Dylan's hand. Dylan is infected. Question is, does that actually do anything? It could be paranoia. Prayers by night. You never know. You just Emma! never know. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Fuck. Uh, there was someone slightly off screen there. Sucks ass. Oh God. And let's not forget, there's still this ghost story that we have no idea Emma, what's going you? on. So we have Mysterious Hunters. Uh, we have Mysterious Hunters. We have... Whatever those monsters are. And we have this ghost story... Like thing. Are we on the island? I mean, this looks like where uh, Emma came, right? There was something there. Yeesh. I not want to fall off this. You just had to say that, didn't you? Uh, I gotta turn around which way is which. That's a big well, that boat, Jill. Fucking hell. I am so worried for Jacob right now. Like, I don't have high hopes for his survival. Hold on, don't go down yet. Check over here. Camera? Evidence collected. Memory card. Huh. Well, I'll take a look at that Maybe later. Something of course, we have to survive to be able to see that. Where in the world did you put that, Jacob? I mean, you're in your undies. So, where did... I mean, where did you just put... I, I don't want to know. I, I Yeah, I don't want to know. Don't, don't want to know. Nope. Because later on, when we look at that memory card, I don't want to know where it's been.
Hello, Mr. Card. Tarot found justice. Well, I was just saying that we've been doing a horrible job collecting cards. At least we found one of them. I'm assuming there's probably going to be two per chapter. Because it seems like every single time you see her, you get the choice of which one you want to see. I'll need to write down the ones that I've seen so that in our redemption run, we can, um, you know, see the ones we haven't seen. Obviously, we're not going to be able to see them all because we did miss some in a chapter. But still. Oh my God. Where the hell is she? What is... Thing was walking around like a human is. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, down! Is it me? Is that, that look almost like a vampire of some kind? I'm starting to get worried about these affections. A uh, hide or run. Uh, left is always right. Except when it's not. Really hope this thing doesn't have a powerful smell. Trophy. Whoa, what is that? The fact says breathe taking instead of breath taking. I, I like it. But why is there a giant boar's head? Oh my god. There's traps everywhere. Nope. Pull free, pry open. Oh my god. Um, 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 um. Pry, 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 uh, uh, left is always right. This is a really bad idea for this bird. Yeah, that was a bad idea. What the fuck? It was kind of like the jock. I am trying to get better at making faster choices. I mean, I know the, the personality is a little bit better, so... I would just think that's what he would do. Look, you could... Oh my god! Well, that's the guy we saw on the card. Question is, do we just kill Jacob? Probably not. I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Yeah, it's definitely a girl. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Not the way she's dressed. Uh, compassionate or rational? Uh, compassionate. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. That's his daughter? Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Uh intervene. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Okay, I'm getting really concerned now. Nick, what do you? I want to taste you. Hey. 
Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off! Oh, better watch out! I said get off! Someone pull him out. Yeah, help Nick. I got him. What did I do? What did you do? I I don't know. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. You know, Mrs. No Price said that uh, the hunter who shot off his finger towards the beginning did so because to cut off the infection. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Beautiful theory. I'm starting to think it's something I should have done too. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Someone thinking rational. That girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. In the, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. No, yeah, that's on, true. If you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? He doesn't look too good. He does not look good at all. I am... I am very worried about our companion here. Can't talk to anyone. I wonder where Caleb is. Okay. I want to know what happened to the councils at the beginning because here's the thing if Okay, okay, let, let me let me just stop for a second and just say this um If we assume That all the hunters are hunting only the creatures and not us Then what happened to the counselors because if the police guy at the beginning was not hunting the, the 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 counselors and he injected the girl with that needle where is she do you know what i mean and if hackett is so innocent why wouldn't he have called the police to report that there were two missing counselors there's just something not adding up here and i don't know what it is Although, now we know that Hackett is involved because apparently his daughter was killed here. But why was she here? Why is she one of the things being hunted when it's his own daughter? Unless he's some really sick, perverted freak. I don't even want to think that way because that would make my brain hurt. This was so different like 12 hours ago. Spooky drawing. Looks a lot like the uh, the drawing Abby drew. Or that shadowy creature. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... Uh, he was like a fish out of water. Does water hurt these uh, creatures? Sure. Is that the you trick? Know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds too, at the lodge. What do you mean? 
All of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. It isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? I have no idea. Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We didn't find anything. Was that a time thing and I just Abby. took too long? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course. Please don't ask if I... Do you like me? I was about to say, please don't say I I want to eat you. Calm. I really enjoyed aggressive. Calm. Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? Such a cop out answer. Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Compassionate, apprehensive, compassion. Nick, I do like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? Where's this coming from? Tell me the truth. I Nick am Nick doesn't believe you. Truth. Why? God. I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I <gasps> What the? Whoa! The... Abby, everything okay? What? Um, should I? Should I? No. What just happened? Hope for I'm. Uh, it's hard to be hopeful after something like that. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not um. 
You know, uh, what are we gonna do? We're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm with him on that one. We don't even know what's out there. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Uh, who is it? Afraid. Um, uh, who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not Laura Kearney? Uh, was yeah, that the council? There's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit! You, Laura Kearney. You're Laura Kearney. Yeah. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up. Uh, you and the guy. What's his name? Max. Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should. I think that we should listen to her inside. Uh, interested, suspicious. Okay. I trust okay. you, buddy. I'm gonna open the door. Slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. That's Laura? Oh, she's changed so much. She has changed so much. Yo, you didn't warn me about that thing exploding out of... Just you and me. And my boy there. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Yeah, a lot of good that's done me. Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Sure, it's not like it's gonna help me anyway. Was that Laura firing at Off someone? Here you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? Oh, shush. It's like the game is taunting me. I swear. Oh, man, that sucks. Well, that was the shortest chapter ever in history. Probably because Emma was dead and probably because we got Abby killed. Justice. An eye for an eye, lax teleonis. <sighs> Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect, actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. So she shot the cop and then went into the cell. Okay, I actually understood that one. Memory card. The memory card from a broken and dirty camera lost in the woods. Family photo. Kaylee's dead. However happy they once were, that's all changed now. I wonder what happened to Chris. Among the miscellany of these forgotten belongings is a scribble drawing of a woman in the woods. The ghost seems to have really left a mark. Pool house. A recent piece of camp history. A younger Ryan enjoying his time with Chris Hackett's kids, Caleb and Kaylee. So he knew them very well. Pieces of silver. Abby came to Nick's aid when he was attacked in the woods. Abby chose not to shoot Nick. And Nick transformed into a monster and decapitated Abby. Oh my god. Oh, I really liked Abby. Mm. 
Distraction. Jacob didn't answer. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Reinhardt rustling the woods didn't shoot. Jacob was captured by the hunters. All right, let's get going. So, uh, why didn't you come? Chapter seven. Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Are we literally going back two months in the past? I think we are. Time to find out what happened to Laura. And possibly her... Her boyfriend? Let's not forget that tarot could mean we either shoot him or don't shoot him. It's hard to tell which is which. Max. Hey. Come He's still alive. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. Um Did he just transform? You goddamn kids. I think it just went vampire. Or whatever it is. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Go to hell. Compliant, angry. Yeah, exactly. Eat shit. Cop has tried to stay calm. Name. You give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I was nice to you before. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop! You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Are you trying to force choke me there? You have a problem? Yeah, I have a problem. Sheriff, that doesn't mean a lot. Okay, Sheriff. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, I have a problem. Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? You I got sick of my instincts. Anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Pleading or angry? You just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on! What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right now! Just sounded more desperate than anything else. Less angry. What?
No, 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 don't lash out. He seems to be... Let's go. Hey. Wait, what happened hey, to the bloody you, explosion? You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Oh, I thought it was gonna be nice to us because it was calm demeanor. That was a bad mistake. Uh, dismissive, concerned, concerned. Max, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Laura. Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff. I got underwear everywhere. on. Yeah, there is blood everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Uh, disappointed? Sus. Suspicious. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? The sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... It's not gonna help us though if he keeps us down here. This guy is shady as can be. There's something shady going on. Dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? What are you gonna do? Huh? Sarcastic. Yeah. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Hers is better. I love her character. She's so good. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off! Come on! Move! Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Worried, sir. Um, leave him alone! Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Alright, let's try to find some stuff, shall we? Just go around the room. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Okay, that's not creepy at all. The fact that someone wrote that into the wall. The heck did they write it with, by the way? What's this? Not a chance. 
I need some sort of lever. Oh, it's something over by the bed. Oh, it looks like someone's been here before. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Almost got the feeling someone's about to jump out from there. And that would be a rat. Because of course. Oh wait, that's right. This game you blink everything on bears. It would be a bear. A giant bear rat. Now well, what are we gonna do with that small little space? Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Fearful or aggressive? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I know we have a ruthless failure run. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? In our second run. But our first run is I try to be hey, true to leave us in here. Hey! You know, the characters. And right now Come back! There's no reason why we should be nice. Like seriously, there's there's nothing going on in any of this that makes me think we should be nice to people. Fuck. And by people I mean this jerk. Thank you, Buck. <laughs> Serious? Playful. Uh, serious. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we we're going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Well, we didn't give him a chance either. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? <laughs> it's Hackett. <laughs> Sheriff Hackett. Wait, what? You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader, Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? That's not Miss Hackett's son, is it? That can't be. Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... No. I mean... No. What? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Max on that one. Suspicious, some kind of setup, reflective. He's not acting like a kidnapper. Um, I'm, I'm. Um, he's not acting like a kidnapper. You're right. Ah, uh, all right, fine. We'll go with it. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Yes, exactly. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? Watch TV. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. 
Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Encouraging or frustrated? Encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, no Max. That. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Oh, but he got rejected from school, remember? We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? Because we snooped. I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck. Have you been making plans, Max? What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Empathetic, sarcastic, empathetic, or empathic, whatever. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Whatever word that is. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Max, we should sympathy. We need to get out of here. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Well, it started getting weird in the forest. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah. That was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. Yeah, I think so too. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Small town. Yeah, One that sheriff. is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a... A dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey. Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, <laughs> I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Uh-huh. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. Werewolves. What if? That was my theory. Uh, Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? 
The game is mocking what, what, me now. What, what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time hopping Dracula. Ryan is mocking me. <laughs> time hopping Dracula. Aggressive, calm. Uh, let's be calm here. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick with the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. Okay, this is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything for all of this. How do we explain the witch or the the woman in the woods? You know? There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. She just showed him his her eye. Okay, but why is I mean I see the, the huge scratch marks going down the her next eye, few but weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. July 12th. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. Well, you keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. Yeah. Right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Agreed. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I like playing too. Reckless, we got to escape. Curious, what if we get on his good side? Uh, I like playing too. I said I like playing too. I gotta stick by what I said. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not. Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? Well, hey, it works on the movies. On the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Determined or reflective? Uh, reflect. I don't like the idea of killing him, but I like the idea of breaking out. Okay, fine. So we don't knock his brains out. I guess that means send friend request. Oh, darn it. Uh, I don't want to go the opposite way. Nope. I just wanted to... Like... I wasn't saying that we shouldn't break his head open. <laughs> just that we might be doing a whole lot more than knocking him out. I love that line. Let's just... Try the non-violent way first. All right, fine. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. And he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I was hoping she would just say, okay, well, we don't hit him over the head. We just take his gun hey, or hey. T -money. hold him up or you T -money? something, you know? Why? This guy looks like the Terminator, you by the way. You call me Officer Hackett. Not Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator, Terminator the T-2000 Terminator. As in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Understood. We've been awful. Skeptical? Understanding. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh, he's not buying it. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! Well, that didn't go well. We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Oh. Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? Guys, attention. No, you don't know the half of it. Well, then tell me. Tell me what is going on. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off. Get back. Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him. He's starting to change. You can see it in his face. Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Call for help? Yeah. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! I don't think it's gonna help. Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, we're supposed to be compliant, remember? I don't care! I, hey, you can't just leave me here! I just gotta go with my emotions sometimes. Yes, I can. Even though they seem to get people killed. Compassion is my downfall, apparently. Well, screw that guy. Uh, buddy? Are we okay? Clinical, tell me what you're feeling. Compassionate, I'm here. Uh, compassionate. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Oh 
my god! What the? Slashed through the chains and ripped out her. Oh Fuck. my god! So is she now infected? Oh, she is a. Maybe she disinfected it? So much for depth perception. And you went back to your cell? Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why would you go back to your cell? I'll get to you in a second, buddy. I just want to explore first. Continue looking, obviously. What is up with that rock? I mean, maybe we can use it to bash the uh, sheriff's head. Oh my God! Doesn't look like we can see inside the cell. Nothing here. And you can see the blood trail we left. Okay, there's where we showered. Mirror is all messed up. I don't know if I necessarily want to go out a door. Because I don't know which door is going to lead me where. I do see the exit sign though. Maybe we could try this door first. Of course it's locked. I mean, what is this, Silent Hill? Thing has to be locked or broken. What's that? That was just a crack between the desk. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. And I know we're over an hour, but forgive my indulgence today. I'm playing a little bit longer. I don't want to leave it here. Fuck. I'm going to need to rest soon. Well, we find an open door. Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. Definitely not Hackett's son, then. So his name is Travis. Fifty six. Happy birthday, son. Cheers. Fifty six, son. Where the time go? You're a good boy, Travis. Happy birthday, love, mom. Okay, let's go around this, uh, nope, can't go around the table. Is 
check the other door. Never mind. Other door. I like how you can still hear them in the background. It's the small things in a game that makes me happy. Oh, that must have been the drug we got shot up with. This must be what he used to knock me out. Maybe we can use it on him. I can hide this in my cell. Yeah, instead of instead of trying to kill him, we can knock him out and then make our escape. Full moon. Birthday beers. July 7th. I need to lie down. Cartoony, um, calendar. So, Mr. Travis? How did you get involved in all of this? Is there anything else in here? Ah! I was like, maybe I should walk in between these. And sure enough, I found something. Excellent. Okay, well, we found the card. Found some clues. Oh, hello. I didn't even... I didn't realize there was a place we haven't explored yet. I thought we were going back to our cell. Hello? What the? Who is this creepy voice that keeps calling? Ninety one one. T hack it. Hint my too birthday. Much a hint is a slap in the face. July seventh. Fuck yeah. Uh, some old school computer equipment here. I mean, just look at the monitor. Hey T, you heard this? We got to shut it down. Can you help for me? Chris. We weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry. Never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. I really wish they called themselves Ghost Facers. Kind of love Supernatural. Speaking of, what the heck is just happening? What the heck? It's a woman from the woods calling out her uh, son's name, right? Silas. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. What is up with that woman though? Missing hikers, missing cats, missing dogs. Dan Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Last scene, five miles north of. Last scene. You see all the X's with question marks?
All right, let's get back to our cell. Before he shows up. Because I want to hide the injection needle. And that's probably what the uh, the stone is going to be for. Yes. Clever girl. Now rest if you can with that. With Max next door. Gonna be almost impossible to though, I'd imagine. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Covered in blood. Why didn't you run? Determined. Or honest. No, we're honest. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Sheriff sure admires Seriously? our dedication. I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Watch the hands, buddy. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. Alright, my friends. Well, I hate to leave it like this. Unfortunately, we're going to have to because we're going on well over an hour now. Love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.